When Ethereum was first introduced to the public in 2015, it brought with it two of the most significant tools in the cryptocurrency world. Those tools are smart contracts and decentralized applications. Bitcoin, for all its might, doesn't have the functionality to host these wonderful tools. There's a project out there hoping to change that though. Its aim is to bring smart contracts and decentralized applications to the Bitcoin network. Today, we're talking about Stacks. Welcome to Crypto Sketch 101. We're the number one go-to spot for all things crypto, and we're glad you've stopped by. If you love cryptos as much as we do, please give this video a like, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're breaking down Stacks. We'll dive deep into everything you need to know including what it is, its unique features, and the STX token. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump into it. Originally conceived in 2013, Stacks was known as Blockstack, before it was later rebranded to Stacks in 2020. Stacks seeks to leverage the stability and security of Bitcoin, and bring smart contracts and decentralized applications to the network. The project was created as a layer 1 solution with Bitcoin as the foundation or base layer. The Stacks token powers the platform, allowing smart contracts to be executed, transactions to be processed, and new digital assets to be registered. Stacks decentralized apps are open and modular. This means that developers can build on top of each other's apps to create capabilities that would otherwise be impossible to achieve in a traditional app. Everything is settled on the Bitcoin blockchain which is considered to be the most extensively used and most secure blockchain in operation. To accomplish its goals, Stacks employs a number of unique features. The first of these is its consensus mechanism, known as proof of transfer. To better understand proof of transfer, it's worth taking a quick look at the original consensus mechanism and the one currently used by Bitcoin, proof of work. Proof of work enables transactions to be confirmed and validated on the Bitcoin network without a central authority. It also brings new Bitcoin into circulation in a process known as mining. Miners, as they are called, use high-powered computers to complete highly complex computational problems and are rewarded with new Bitcoin for their efforts. Proof of transfer is an extension of the proof of burn consensus model. In proof of burn, as a proxy for computational resources, miners compete by burning or destroying a proof of work cryptocurrency from an established blockchain, in this case Bitcoin. In proof of transfer however, instead of burning, miners transfer committed cryptocurrency to other participants in the network who are stacking. In much the same way that Bitcoin miners are rewarded with new Bitcoin for their efforts, by locking up their tokens for a set period of time, Stacks token holders are rewarded with Bitcoin for providing a vital service to the network. Proof of transfer has a number of benefits including allowing anyone to mine without any special hardware, allowing developers to benefit from Bitcoin's properties without modifying Bitcoin itself, and reusing the energy already expended by Bitcoin's proof-of-work consensus model. Stacks is also distinguished from other projects by use of its programming language, known as Clarity. Clarity is what developers use to make Stacks smart contracts and decentralized applications. The Clarity code is predictable, meaning it allows developers to know how much the application will cost, how much data it will consume, and forecast what the program will do. Ethereum's Solidity language for example, will not allow developers to do any of these things. Clarity also differs from most other programming languages in that it does not require compilation. Instead, any smart contract's source code is executed and published directly on the blockchain nodes. Clarity smart contracts can also see the Bitcoin state, which is useful because it allows contract functionality to be triggered exclusively by Bitcoin transactions. Gaia is another interesting feature of Stacks. It is the storage system used by the project. It stores app data off-chain and is unique in that there is no need for a third-party storage provider. Gaia leverages Azure and other off-chain cloud platforms to provide applications with lightning-fast data access. The data is protected by the creator's private key. Additionally, Stax has a decentralized authentication system. With the login and other credentials stored in Gaia, this authentication is how access to apps is allowed. 
Users can also opt out of cloud storage and instead use their own cold storage solution if they have the necessary amount of computing power. And finally, Stacks received SEC approval. Back when it was known as Blockstack, it received approval by the SEC to sell Bitcoin-like tokens in an initial public offering. This was seen as a huge win in a market that up until recently has been largely unregulated by the US government. It is worth noting however, that following the launch of Stacks 2.0 in January of 2021, it marked the end of Stacks being treated as a security, and as a result, Stacks no longer files required reports with US regulators. There are a few uses for the Stacks native token, known as STX. STX was established primarily as a fuel for executing Clarity smart contracts, but they also have other uses in the Stacks ecosystem. STX can be used for a variety of things, including publishing new smart contracts to the blockchain, paying transaction fees, and registering digital assets. Although 2021 was a great year for STX, it remains to be seen what the long-term value of STX will be. Much will be determined by the adoption of the Stacks platform and the rise of Clarity-powered smart contracts. If the rate of growth stagnates or declines, the price of STX may fall to the point where miners are unwilling to trade their Bitcoin for Stacks tokens. This is significant because smart contract developers require STX tokens in order to publish their contracts on the blockchain, and users require STX in order to pay gas fees while executing contracts. In wrapping up, here are some final thoughts regarding Stacks. It is an innovative project with many unique features that seek to enhance Bitcoin's network while leveraging its security and stability. Stacks seeks to bring smart contracts and decentralized applications to the Bitcoin network and offers a number of unique features that differentiate it from many other projects. Those features include proof of transfer, an extension of the proof of burn consensus model where miners transfer committed coins rather than burning them. Stacks also employs a unique programming language called Clarity which is predictable, meaning it allows developers to know how much an application will cost, how much data it will consume, and forecast what the program will do. Gaia is the storage system used by Stacks and stores app data off-chain. It is unique in that there is no need for a third-party storage provider. Stacks also received SEC approval. At the time, it was seen as a large win for a project in an industry that has been largely unregulated. And that's all we have for today's video. We hope you got a good understanding of Stacks, its unique features, and how it aims to take the Bitcoin network to the next level. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us today and we'll catch you in the next video.